We often hear the name everywhere, especially on the internet. But who is Elon Musk exactly? As the CEO of the electric car company Tesla Incorporated (TSLA) and the private space company SpaceX, Elon Musk has become a well-known entrepreneur around the world. Musk was an early investor in a number of tech companies, and in October 2022, he closed a deal to make Twitter Incorporated private. His success and unique style have led people to compare him to Steve Jobs, Howard Hughes, and Henry Ford, all of whom were also wealthy businessmen in the United States. He was named the richest person in the world, and as of October 2022, his estimated net worth was $212 billion. Musk first got this title in 2021, when he passed Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon.com Inc. As the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk decided to develop a robot that will be beneficial for a lot of people. The name of the robot is Optimus and it is currently in the prototyping phase. In this video, we will talk about the characteristics and details about this robot. It is 1.73 meters tall and weighs 125 pounds. Even though he's not very good at it yet, Optimus can walk, carry packages, water plants, and move things. Elon Musk kicked off Tesla's AI Day 2022 by showing off a prototype of its humanoid robot, which the company hopes to mass produce and sell for less than $20,000. The shape and function of the robot are based on humans, but they also use Tesla's experience making cars. A worker at Optimus said, it's a change from robots with wheels to robots with legs. So there are many similarities between a car and a robot when it comes to powertrain design. The, the most important thing that matters here is energy, mass, and cost. Musk brought a person dressed as a robot to AI Day last year. This year, he brought out a real person-like creature. The robot walked off stage at Tesla's offices in Palo Alto, California, with a few awkward steps and a mechanical wave. Musk said the robot can actually do a lot more than what we just showed you, but we didn't want it to fall on its face. We'll show you some videos now of the robot doing a bunch of other things. The company then showed videos of Optimus doing some simple tasks awkwardly while he was attached to a cable. The technicians talk for a long time about how hard it is to make a robot walk without falling and move things around. Musk said, there is still a lot of work to be done to improve Optimus. Then, Tesla showed off a model of the next generation of Optimus robots that was even less advanced than the first. The first Optimus prototype looked a little bit clunky, but the second one was much cleaner and sleeker. But it could barely stand up straight and was about to fall over when technicians grabbed it. Musk joked, as usual, Tesla's demos are coming in hot. He may have been thinking back to three years ago when the indestructible glass on a Tesla vehicle broke in the middle of a presentation. It wasn't ready to walk today, but I think it will in a few weeks. Sure? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> Sorry? It didn't go through, Let's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the right. Okay. Try that one, really? Okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, man. It didn't go through. <laughs> All right. <laughs> eh, not bad. Our goal is to make a humanoid robot that is useful as soon as possible. We made it with the same attention to detail as our cars, so that we can make lots of low-cost robots that work well. Musk said in his opening remarks, that is very important. Musk wants robots that can do work so that we can have an abundant future and a transformation of civilization. You've seen some very cool humanoid robots in action. That's great, but what do they not have? A mind. They aren't smart enough to figure out how to get around on their own. Also, they are very expensive and can only be made in small quantities. Optimus is meant to be a very powerful robot that can be made in large numbers, maybe even millions of them, and cost much less than a car. I would guess that it would cost less than $20,000, he added. The robot is powered by a battery that is built into its chest. This battery is designed to use as little energy as possible. 
It has a main board with AI and a navigation system like the ones in Tesla's self-driving cars. Optimus has built-in cameras and sensors, wireless connectivity, audio capabilities, and strong transmission points so it can move around, hold, and carry things. The mechanical engineer in charge of the project said it has important hardware safety features to protect the robot and the people around it. Musk knows that there is still a lot that can be done to make things better. One of his goals is to build enough robots so that Tesla's factories can test them out as workers. In the meantime, Tesla will work on getting better at what they do. But that's not all, Musk promised the crowd during the Q&A. We want to make really fun versions of Optimus that can be useful and do tasks, but can also be a kind of friend and hang out with you. I'm sure people will come up with all kinds of creative ways to use this robot. One day, we might have robots like the ones in movies like Star Trek, The Next Generation. We could teach the robot to be more human-like and less robotic. It could learn to act like people and feel very natural. As AI gets better as a whole, we can add those improvements to the robot. It should be able to follow simple commands and maybe even figure out what you want, said Musk. Musk promised, we always want to be careful we don't go down the Terminator path, referring to the sci-fi film saga in which robots rebel against humans. There will be safety features, like the ability to turn it off and update its operating system over the internet. Musk says that Tesla is a good choice for the robot project from a governance point of view. Our company is on the stock market. So the public is in charge of Tesla, which is fine. So if I go crazy, you can fire me. This is a big deal. What did you think of Optimus? Do you believe that it can be one of the most advanced robots in the future? Place your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss a video like this. As always, stay wonderful. Thank you for watching and see you at the next one.